Hi, I'm percussionist Doug Henricks. Many of you know that I have a testy relationship with the concept of clave. Kneel before clave! If you'd like to see that video in its entirety, I put the link below. Actually, I think clave is a fascinating and very useful rhythmic concept. I want to play this rhythm track for, for you. It's from my latest tune. As you can hear, it's mostly driven by the bata part. One, two, three, four, one. If you were to isolate the high end of the bata drums, the cha-cha head that has the high accent, if you isolate those mics, here's what it sounds like. Rumba clave, right? I also have a shake array part in there, which I actually didn't play on the shake array. I played on this. It's great. My friend in Brazil makes these things. I'll put the link below uh, with information about this instrument. It's great. Anyway, here's that track isolated. It's cascara. So those parts together sound like this. Clave and Cascara, you've heard it a million times. But check this out. Here's the whole rhythm track again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna isolate those parts one more time. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See, I've got my clave in there and the cascara in there. I just displaced it an eighth note earlier. So it's there, just not where most people would have it. I always tell my students, if I teach you a rhythm, how many rhythms did I teach you? The answer is, as many as there are subdivisions in the measure. Displace it, experiment, move it one eighth note at a time, forwards or backwards, or if you're really industrious, one sixteenth note. All over the measure, displace it. You'll come up with some cool stuff.